Hi, this is ROC Boss. Today we are gonna talk about the first and the largest battle of the Second Sino-Japanese War, the Shanghai Campaign. Shanghai became a treaty port in 1842 after the First Opium War. Chinese and foreigners together made Shanghai the largest and most modernized city in Asia. After the invasion of Manchuria by the Imperial Japanese Army on September 18, 1931, the Imperial Japanese Navy couldn't wait to launch another operation in Shanghai. IJN launched a new offensive to compete for popular support with the IJA. The Shanghai incident took place between January 28 and March 3, 1932 was the first skirmish between the NRA, IJN as well as IJA in the city. Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek deployed his best NRA 5th Corps to reinforce the positions of the NRA 19th Route Army defending Shanghai. The skirmish was over after the intervention of the United States, Great Britain, and France. A Shanghai ceasefire agreement was signed to prevent the central government from sending more troops to the east of Kunshan. Only the Peace Preservation Corps under the city government of Shanghai was allowed to be stationed in the city. For Japan, it was allowed to keep a special naval landing forces consisted of 2,000 men in Shanghai to protect its citizens and interests. The outbreak of Marco Polo Bridge incident and the fall of Beiping and Tianjin in the summer of 1937 again made Shanghai the center of a full-scale confrontation between ROC and Imperial Japan. Why was Shanghai the first location Chiang Kai-shek chose to fight with his elite units? Shanghai was the gateway to Nanjing, the capital city of the Chinese Republic. Chang also believed that a fierce battle in Shanghai would attract international attention. It would add international pressure for the Japanese government to put its military under control. Another reason Chang chose Shanghai to begin his war of resistance was that he realized that he needed supports from all the provincial strongmen in China against Japan's invading. Chang needed to throw his central army into the battle first before he could convince those local strongmen to join the war. Shanghai was the best location for Chang to demonstrate his determination. The third war area was organized in August of 1937. Generalissimo appointed Feng Yu Sang, the leader of the Northwest Army to be the first commander of the Third War Area to command all NRA operations in Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces. As tension escalated in northern China, additional 2,000 special land forces were deployed to Shanghai on August 11. Hasegawa Kiyoshi, the commander of IJN's 3rd Fleet had 5,000 troops to guard the Hongkou district where the headquarters of Japan located in Shanghai. On the same day, the NRA 9th Army Group under General Chong Kai-chung moved into Nanchiang in the northwest of Shanghai. He then ordered the 88th and 87th Divisions to move into the Zhebei District. On August 13, the fighting between the NRA and the IJN land forces finally broke out over Zhebei. The NRA 88th Division attacked Hongkou District to take the headquarters of the Special Land Forces while the 87th Division attacked the Yangshupu District which was also occupied by the Japanese. Both NRA divisions would cut the enemy into half and tried to push the IJN land forces into Wangpu River. The offensives of 88th and 87th divisions almost drove the Japanese out of Zhebei and Yangshupu. Both sides suffered great casualties. Huang Mei Xing, the commander of the 264th Brigade was killed by enemy mortars over the Bazi Bridge. However, the IJN land forces held Hongko and Yangshupu with the supports of the 3rd Fleet's naval guns. Even the SFH-18 150mm howitzers of the NRA 10th Artillery Regiment could not penetrate through the thick concrete of the Japanese fortification. On August 14, the Republic of China Air Force was up to bomb the IJN Land Forces headquarters in Yangshupu. Unfortunately, the ROCAF 2nd Bomb Group accidentally dropped a bomb into the French concession. Around 3,000 people were killed or wounded in the incident. Chiang Kai-shek apologized to Western nations immediately. A final offensive was launched by the 88th Division and the 87th Division on August 17. However, the NRA's attempt to push the IJN land forces down into the Wangpu River failed. Two days later, the NRA 36th Division and 98th Division arrived at Shanghai. The 36th Division and the 98th Division were ordered to attack Huishan Wharf. Their mission was again to prevent the Japanese from sending more reinforcement from the sea. The 36th Division deployed two British-built Vickers Mark E light tanks to assist offensive on August 19. It was also the first tank infantry cooperation to be seen in the history of the NRA. However, both vehicles were destroyed by the Type 94 37mm anti-tank guns of the IJN land forces. The NRA failed to push the enemy into the Wangpu River before the arrival of IJA reinforcement. 
Beginning on August 14, Mitsubishi G3M bombers launched strategic bombing against Shanghai, Nanjing, and Hangzhou. However, the ROC Air Force destroyed two G3M bombers with its Hawk 3 fighters. On the same day, the IJA established the Shanghai Expedition Army was established and landed in Shanghai on August 23. Meanwhile, General Chen Cheng's 15th Army Group arrived G8 to launch the NRA's anti-amphibious operations against IJA. The 15th Army Group consisted of the 18th Corps, 74th Corps, and 1st Corps. The 11th and 67th Divisions of the 18th Corps assaulted the Japanese positions in Lodian, while the 98th Division attacked Baoshan. At the same time, the NRA 75th Corps held Wusun. The NRA 11th Division took Lodian back from the IJA 11th Division on August 25. The 98th Division retook Yuapu and Chisolan. It immediately established defense with the 75th Corps in the region of Baoshan and Wusun. However, they were unable to stop more Japanese troops from landing over Shanghai. The IJN also sent three aircraft carriers to the coast of Shanghai to provide air cover to the IJA unable to repel the IJN aerial offensive. The NRA began to lose their positions to the IJA after fierce battles. Lodian was taken again on August 29. The NRA 6th Division was defeated in Wusung on September 2. After Wusung was taken, the 98th Division in Baoshan was totally isolated. The IJA began their assaults against the NRA 98th Division from three different directions. Yao Su Ching, the commander of the 3rd Battalion defeated the first wave of the Japanese attack on September 3. The second wave of attack was launched two days later. The 3rd Battalion fought until September 7. All of them were killed before the IJA took over Baoshan. However, under such encouragement, the local strongmen began to send their troops to the city to demonstrate their patriotism. The beginning of the Shanghai campaign was the end, but it meant an even more brutal campaign awaited the NRA's troops. The, remain the Shanghai campaign will be explained in future videos. We will continue this story about the largest and most brutal battle in the Second Sino-Japanese War. Hey, do you like our content? If you like them, please remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support us, feel free to donate from the link below.